Hi friends, I'm going to read you a couple of stories today. Here are the stories I'm going to read. I'm going to read Little Elephant Listens, Little Lion Shares, Little Lion Picks Up, Cleans Up His Toys, and Little Monkey Calms Down. These books are all by an author named Michael Dahl, and they are all illustrated by a person named Oriel Vidal. Illustrated means they drew the pictures. Now these books are all about some things that we all need to know about when we're at preschool, but also when we're at home. So first, they're all very short books, but first, I will read Little Elephant Listens. Little Elephant uses his big ears to listen. He listens to Papa Elephant. Time to eat. Yum, 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 yum. What do you think is the tastiest thing on that page? Do you think you'd rather eat oranges or donuts? Little Elephant listens to Brother Elephant. Time to play. Vroom, vroom. Do you think the red car would win or the blue car? Little elephant, oh, he listens to Mama Elephant. Time for a bath. Splish, splash. He listens to Mama and Papa Elephant. Time for bed. At bedtime, everyone listens. Zzz. Let's see what they're listening to. To Little Elephant. They're listening to him sleep or snore. So in that book, the little friend was listening to his mama and his papa and his brother. We need to have good listening ears when we're at school, right? Okay, this one is called Little Lion Shares. Little Lion likes to play. What's he playing with? Looks like a truck and some Legos. But Little Lion does not like to share. Grrr. He says, mine, mine, mine. Uh-oh. You must learn to share, little lion. I think that's probably his mama. You can take turns. So right now, his friend is doing the puzzle. And then soon he can do the puzzle. Or you can play with something else. Or you can play together. Then everybody has fun. So Little Lion shared something special with his mama. A big smile. Roar! 
So that's a good book talking about sharing. And we talk about that at school too. We say to our friends, if you want a toy, you say, can I have a turn with that? And the person who has the toy can either say, sure, here, you can play with it. Or I'm playing with it. You can have a turn soon. And both are okay. Let's read Little Tiger Picks Up. He's going to pick up his toys. Well, hopefully he's going to pick up his toys. Oh, my little tiger. What a mess. I see some books and some blocks and some stuffies all over the floor. Roar, says little tiger. Playtime is over. It's time to pick up. Look at little tiger's face. Does he look happy about picking up or not happy about picking up his toys? I think he doesn't look happy about picking up his toys. Pick up your toys, little tiger. Pick up your games, little tiger. Pick up your books, little tiger. Everything is picked up, says little tiger. He looks very proud of himself, doesn't he? He looks happy that he finished that job. Good job, little tiger. And then his mama says, now it's time to pick you up. And she's carrying him maybe off to bed. And he says, roar. All right, that's another good lesson. Everybody plays, so everybody cleans, right? That's what we say at preschool. Okay, here's the last book. It's called Little Monkey Calms Down. Let's see what happens in this book. Oh dear, look at little monkey's face. Does he look happy or sad? He dropped his ice cream, so I think he looks sad. It says, poor little monkey. He is having a tough time. Little monkey feels sad and mad and angry. Calm down, little monkey. It's okay to cry. Calm down, little monkey. Cuddle with your blankie. Calm down, little monkey. Take a deep breath. Do you remember what we say at school? We say, smell a flower and blow a candle. Smell a flower and blow a candle. That's how we calm down at preschool, right? Calm down, little monkey. Sing a quiet song. That's a good idea. Sing quietly to yourself. That will help you calm down. Calm down, little monkey. Be still and relax. If you're feeling upset, you can find a quiet place to just sit and relax. Now his mommy and daddy say, feeling better, little monkey? Look at his face. Do you think he feels better? He looks happier now, doesn't he? Now let's have a fun day. Now that he's feeling better, he can go back to playing. So those are my stories for today. I hope that you liked the colorful pictures and I hope you enjoy the stories. And I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. I'll see you when I see you. Bye.